Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lisa Goosey or Kyle and welcome back to some more Hero Craft here on the channel. That is right, we are back with some Hero Craft and uh, yeah, woohoo. I'm pre-recording this on a Sunday by the way, so I'm not even close to the Tuesday that I would record. Well, I guess I'm close to it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be pre-recording on the weekends for now on just because I've got track and field going. So I have to pre-record everything on the weekends. But last episode, we left off with saying that we're not using this as our chest room anymore. I cleared it out, tried to make it look more like it's part of the balcony. I got to clear out a bit of this mountainy stuff. And uh, then we have it like lead into our house here. Maybe I'll still have like an entrance like right here leading out to our balcony. I think I might end up doing that just so like this is all our balcony. And then we have to decide if we want this all to be stone in the balcony or if we want it all to be stone bricks. Now I think I want it to be all stone. So like we could have the ent entrance to the balcony here and then from here all the way to that side is all going to be stone. I think that's pretty good for what we're going to do there. So that's a little bit of off camera work I did. And then I also... Uh, did a bit with the chest. I moved all my chest down here, and then we've got our uh, furnace room set up down here too. Now I didn't do the terraforming on the outside, and uh, that's kind of my bad because I just completely forgot to do it. And it's gonna take a bit more dirt to do it. I have like no dirt, so uh, that's what I got going on in that room. And then I also went mining for a little bit. I didn't find too much stuff. Did I find anything too interesting? I don't think I really did. Um, let's see, did I find anything interesting at all? I gotta put this stuff away. I think I just found a lot of iron. If uh, we look in this chest, this is uh, where I've got all my stuff. So we got a little bit more lapis, and then we just got a bit of iron as well. I didn't go mining for that often, or that long of a time period. I think I'll grab up uh, just a little bit of lapis here, because I do have an enchant that I kind of want to do. So we'll bring everything with us just to see uh, what we might get. But I'm going to enchant the sword, uh, because it's got a really good thing for us. So if we go in here put the sword in we got sharpness 4 going and uh, oh I forgot to put the lapis in so if I'm gonna take it hopefully we can get looting or fire aspect that's what either looting or fire aspect that's what I would want so let's see if we get it all right I hit it it's the moment of truth I'm not even gonna look at it I'm closing my eyes guys you can't see it but I'm closing my eyes I'm gonna, I'm gonna open them oh fire aspect 2 on breaking 3 that is really good all right, it doesn't have the looting on it, but this is like a really good sword. Like that's actually really good. If we get a sharpness four book and we move that up to sharpness five, that's like the best sword you can have PVP wise. Now, because we're on a survival, PVP wise swords aren't the greatest thing in the world, but we do have fire aspect two and I'm breaking three. So this is pretty awesome. I'm pretty stoked about that. Now, if we see what we can get here for the level 30 enchants, I am never going to take that in my life, but can we get a fortune going on here? Nope, just the efficiency. I might just take that eventually just because I want to but we're not going to use this sword on us we're going to retire it for a little bit and then once we get our good gear we'll probably just carry it around with us all the time I just don't want it to break and have me waste repair levels on it considering I don't really need it to kill things maybe I'll use it to kill my cows uh, just so I don't have to worry about uh, smelting everything up what happened to all my coal Oh yeah, never mind. I know what happened to all my coal. I left it in those furnaces over there. I got like four stacks of coal while I was mining because that was like what I mainly wanted to get. But that is it for uh, what I did off camera and we got our awesome sword there. So now what we're going to do is we are going to clear out another room right here uh, for our nether portal. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to clear it off off camera just so you, or clear it out off camera uh, just so you guys don't have to see me doing the same thing I've done for a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do that and then I guess I'll catch you guys back when it's done. All right. Alrighty guys, so I ended up clearing out this room. Now I didn't put the floor or the ceiling or the walls in because it is our nether room. So why would I put, uh, you know, like cobblestone or something on the floor? I want to put nether rack on the floor and maybe nether brick in the walls. I think that would look pretty awesome. So uh, we got 10 obsidian here and uh, I'm not quite sure if that's going to be enough how I want to make this because 10 obsidian makes like the 2x2 two two thingy or the 2x3 thingy. But I want to make it a 3x3, three three, so I'm not going to have enough to do it. So I am going to have to go into the mines, but we'll put in just a little bit amount of that we're going to put in right now. Uh, and then we'll go into the mines in a second to go get the rest of that stuff. So let me just put a torch here so it's not too dark for you guys. So, hmm, how do I want to do this? Let's see. I kind of want to make it here uh, in this area so it's not... Uh, like, this wall isn't, like, obsidian because I don't think that would look pretty good or good at all. Uh, but let's just open this 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 and then put that here so we're gonna need a bit more I think two more obsidian if I'm counting right uh, maybe more than that I don't know I can't count that's always been an issue of mine 
But, uh, yes, two more obsidian, I believe, is what we're gonna need to complete this, unless I misplace one. Uh, I guess that wouldn't even matter. But there we go, we're just gonna need two more obsidian to complete this nether portal. It won't take too long. I'll just grab my diamond pickaxe, head into the mines, and, uh, hopefully get some obsidian. So I'll catch you guys back once I'm there. Alrighty guys, we're actually in the mine where we got our obsidian originally, at least I think this is the spot that I originally got my obsidian, I did not plan that at all, I just was looking for a mine and then I found this one and I'm like, oh look, obsidian, and then I realized there was a bunch of holes in the corner there, and I'm like, hey, I think this is where we got our original obsidian, so we only need two, I think I'm going to grab a little bit more just because I want to, and maybe I want to make another portal in the future, so I think I'm going to grab about ten, I'm just going to be like sitting here for a while, so I'm going to grab ten, uh, I just will probably time lapse it, or maybe I won't show you guys at all but i'm gonna meet you guys probably back at the house and uh we will make our nether portal and go into the nether so i'll see you guys then Alrighty, guys we are back at the house let me close my door behind me by the way i ended up moving our door a little bit i think it was not like this was it like this let me see no i think it was actually right on the edge here so i actually moved it just a bit so it looked a little bit better uh, I did that off camera as well. But we have the obsidian, 10 obsidian. I didn't end up showing you guys a time lapse because I had something to do during the middle of it. So I stopped recording for a little bit and then came back to it. So uh, yeah, let's head into this room, finish up putting in the obsidian. I don't know why I only grabbed 10. I probably should have grabbed 12 because that would have ended up letting us be able to make another, another portal somewhere in the future so we could have like 10 right now. But that's kind of sad. I probably should have done that, but uh, I'm really stupid and I didn't. Well, hopefully you guys are all having a wonderful day today. I forgot to mention that. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm going to make another just regular iron pickaxe just so mine doesn't break or I don't have to worry about it breaking. I just opened that chest like six times trying to do something. Okay. I have to remember where my wooden chest is. I think it's this one. Oh, I got it right. Okay. I definitely need to label these. I'll probably do that off camera as well. But let me just make up this pickaxe right here. I might grab a little bit of wood with me just so I can have something then uh, to... Uh, craft in the nether so if i need to craft anything i have that i also need to make a flint and steel in case my portal gets out or well i need it anyways to uh get the portal going so hopefully we have some flint on us i'm not sure where my miscellaneous chest is oh it's right here actually so let's just get that let's make sure we have a stack of torches on us let's make this flint and steel and that should be pretty good what else did i want uh did i want anything else i think i just said something that i wanted but i completely forgot now uh, oh yes, wood. Uh, I want to just make sure I have that on me. So our goal is into going into the nether. What we want to bring home is some nether wart and um, blaze rod as well as soul sand so that we can grow our nether wart. Uh, I have to get my wood again. Uh, there we go. I'll just take this 20 oak wood with us. And then what else do we need? I mean, we might want some nether rack so we can just put the floor in here. And then I also want to get some levels from the nether quartz. So look at that. This nice looking three by three nether portal. We're going to head in. Hopefully we don't die right away. Please give me a good spawn. Like right next to a nether fortress would be just absolutely beautiful. Please, 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 please. All right, this looks fine. Uh, we're actually in a cave area, but we're not going to die right away. And the best thing about it is we got a soul sand deposit right over here for us to grab up to the nether wart as well as the soul sand. I don't even know why I brought a water bucket with me. Like, how is that going to help me in any way? Not at all. But uh, let's just put this here, this here, this here, and then we should be pretty good, right? Uh, I mean, I'll probably just take it. That was growing on the nether wart. Or, why did I? Or not on the nether wart. Oh, there's that. We're going to keep this here, guys, because this is like... That, is that a glitch? Oh, no, it broke! Oh, you guys saw it, though. It's on camera, dude. It's on camera. There was a very glitched-out nether wart uh, on the nether rack, so that was actually pretty cool there. Um, I need a little bit more. I probably will just take 16 home, uh, because that's, like, the number that, you know, is, like, a fourth of a stack, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that's a little bit of math going in right there. I don't know why I just take 16, but I'm going to take some. And then I also need some of the soul sand going up. So I should probably take 16 soul sand. I might take a little bit more uh, just to see. But something I've always wondered is if you have like 16 soul sand, right? And you smelt that, does that give you glass? Because it technically is sand, right? I don't know. It probably doesn't give you glass. We can always check. I don't think it would. Like that's That would be like a funny little hidden mystery in Minecraft. So I got 32 actually, and that's half a stack some math coming in for you guys right now but uh let's try to get up to level 30 that's also something i want to do or maybe level 31 so that we can burn a level because it didn't look like we had anything going for us too interesting on our pickaxe and our chest plate i mean i could always take the efficiency four on the pickaxe but i'd rather not do that so hopefully we can get up to level 31 plus court quartz is a pretty cool block so that's why i'm grabbing the quartz up as well but uh oh am i gonna fall uh just a hole um all right let's do that and then get out of here 
and uh, just keep on mining this nether quartz up and then we gotta go look for a fortress so this is actually a really awesome spawn uh, besides the fact that there's a fortress but it's good because we don't have any gas that are gonna spawn in here and just absolutely wreck our faces uh, and I don't have a bow so that's another reason why uh, that's a bad or that's a good thing because I couldn't have taken down a gas without a bow and oh I thought that was a wither skeleton and I almost hit him if I would have hit him guys I think we probably would have had our first death or have I died before on this world I don't actually know if I have if you guys remember me dying before let me know because I'm not sure if I've actually died on this world I honestly don't think I have but you never know man you never know so uh, oh there's a gas speaking of the devil uh, there's the gas and uh, he could completely wreck us but we also could get him with our sword because like he's low to the ground and now that I say that he's gonna start flying don't do it to me why would you just do that why I don't like gas at all oh, they're terrible they're worse than slimes guys slimes are usually my least favorite mob in Minecraft but today it is the gas because he's going to absolutely ruin this trip for us so hopefully we can find like an enclosed nether fortress like one of those really easy ones to do stuff in and uh, it would have been helpful to have a bow as well to take down the blaze spawners and stuff but do you mind I am trying to get to level 30 here and you are just not letting that happen like geez gas gotta be so rude why you gotta be so rude stupid gas nobody even likes them like why like when Mojang sat down and they're like all right we need some of these mobs to put in the nether like what should we do and someone's like oh I've got this great idea how about we put a flying marshmallow that shoots out fireballs and it completely ruins everybody's day because you can only kill it with a bow because they fly too high in the air for you to hit it with a sword how about we do that and then the idiot that said oh yeah that's a great idea I love flying marshmallows like who would uh, uh, what like ah I'm gonna end up dying here fire damage like what is this stupid gas get out of here stop shooting me stop it uh, is there two am I getting double teamed I don't think I am. Oh, I am getting double teamed. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Stop it now. Stop shooting at me. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Why do I always die in the nether? I hate the nether. I'm never coming back here again. I'm hiding. You can't hit me if you can't, or you, they won't shoot if they can't see you. Pretty sure. So let's hide down here, regenerate our health. So what are we looking at here? We got level 30, which is always pretty cool. We have the ability to grow nether wart, but it's not going to help if we don't have the blaze rod uh, to make the, um, what is it called? What, what am I thinking of? The brewing stand. And, uh, yeah, we don't have the blaze rod. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, we got it. Did we get... No! I think that was just gunpowder. I don't think it had a gas tier with it. If it did have a gas tier, that's kind of sad because gas tiers are kind of rare to get. Um, but that's okay. Uh, we killed the gas anyway, so I think that's just a win in itself. Let's get the rest of this nether quartz. Hopefully get level 31 so we can burn a level. And then we can do, try to find another fortress. So I'm going to continue to do this until I get level 31. And then I'll catch you guys back, hopefully, with, while I'm in a nether fortress. Alrighty, guys. So you can see the nether fortress there. Hopefully, you guys can see it. I don't know how I'm going to get there. Honestly, guys, this is going to be crazy. Uh, it looks like it's going to be really hard to get there. Hopefully, some lava doesn't pour out of here and burn me to death. But I do have level 31, as you guys can see. So that is something that I ended up doing successfully. So that's always good. Oh, look at that. Well, never mind. I take that back. I got to this pretty easily. I just had to mine through a wall. But uh, it looks like there's a ton of blazes here. So we don't have to worry about blaze spawning. And I think we're going to be good on that front. Hopefully, there's no... Okay, blazes right here. Uh, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, and let's just go get the easy kills. Come on, get the easy 10 heart, easy 10 heart. Boom, get GG 10 hearted. I almost said 12 hearted. Uh, we got one blaze rod, awesome. That's all we came here for. Uh, we got some good stuff out of these chests as well. Hopefully we can get, like, I don't know, because I already got, like, the best things I can get out of these chests. Like, or out of the, like, mob spawner chests. Like, I got, um, a couple name tags. I got diamond horse armor. Like, I don't really need much. Maybe some name tags is, like, all I would really want. But I don't think you can get name tags out of these chests. So let's see. Anybody on either side of me? Nope. Uh, there's actually a chest on the other side as well. So that's always pretty cool. All right. Let's open up this chest. Hallelujah. 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 Two diamonds. Never mind. I lied. Diamonds are awesome too. So yes, that's also pretty good. Wait, where was that other chest at? I think it was this way. Yes, it is. All right. Let's get this. And then hopefully we can kill a couple more blazes, get some more blaze rods. And that would be pretty good for us for this nether adventure. Uh, the good stuff right here as well. Some awesome saddles going on. I don't think we're really going to need too many saddles. But uh, yeah, I haven't even gotten involved in horses yet. I don't think I've ever really gotten involved with horses too much in Minecraft. I used to I, I used to have a world where I made a Mario Kart map. And uh, that was like the only time I really messed around with horses in Minecraft. 
But, uh, okay, let's get this guy too. Get GG 10 hearted, hopefully, please. Yes, alright, GG 10 hearted. And, uh, nothing good from him. These guys can hurt you, but they won't give you magma cream, so I'm just gonna punch him with my stake. Uh, it's a two shot, so it's actually pretty good. Just don't waste your durability on these guys, just punch them. Uh, they're a two shot anyway, so those blazes are kind of creeping me out. I'm gonna get what this in this chest. Uh, the golden chest plate, I'll just take it. I'm not gonna need it, but, like, why would I just leave it here? And then let's head down this hallway. I might go try to kill those blazes, but. Like, the two blazes at one time, that's kind of scary, dude. Alright, ready, ready, ready? And now we switch over to this side. Oh, wait, it was only one blaze. The other guy's all the way down there. Uh, I think he dropped one. Yes, he did. Alright, we're not going to need any more blaze rods, but I'll kill this guy. Oh, never mind, I'm not going to kill him. There's the spawner over there. I really don't want to deal with the spawner, so I probably will destroy that. Um, that's probably what I'm going to do. But we're rounding up close to the end of the episode. I'm not really sure what time we're at, but it's probably near the end here. So I'm going to grab up this glowstone. I don't know why I'm using my shovel. Um, but I think that's pretty good and uh, we should probably get head back or start heading back home So what's this area down here? Uh, I just think it will probably be a little bit easier for us to maybe get home because our house is in this direction So can we get uh, I guess we can try to get into the nether fortress from here Can we get into it from here? It's probably really dark for you guys. Sorry about that um, Let me put a torch down so you guys can see a bit better. Uh, let's destroy this uh, thingy. I think I actually saw a wither skeleton, so I have to, oh, I got that. What the heck? That broke so weird. I didn't even see the animation of it breaking. That was so weird. We're actually really close to the edge of the world, I guess. But a uh, bunch of blazes all around here. There's the other one. Oh, hello, wither skeleton. Uh, last series that I did, my survival series, I literally got so many wither skulls. It was, like, unbelievable. I, I didn't even have looting. And I just went into the nether one time, killed a couple of wither skeletons, and came home with three skulls. And I was just like, yep, I'm a pro. Um, just call me homie G because that's what I am and then I killed all these wither skeletons again So they can all take that there's another wither skeleton over here Let me put a torch down so you guys can see a bit better uh, I know it's really dark in these nether fortresses and YouTube uh, makes everything a lot darker as well I'm burning. Hopefully I don't get withered. Okay. I didn't get withered. I did oh crap I thought that was the wither skeleton that I just killed right there But there's another one right here So I'm gonna start heading and get back home I guess I'll see you guys when we're back at the house and we will do a little bit of design on our nether room Alrighty guys, I actually found another chest here, and uh, we got, uh, I'm not even going to worry about the gold sword, I'll actually put my other one away too, I don't really need a gold sword for anything, but we got some obsidian in there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, anything else that I might be interested in? Probably not. Oh crap! Ah! I think this is the one I just opened. No! Are you guys absolutely kidding me? Look at this. Look at this! Dude, absolutely. Okay, I have to put this gold sword away. I was going to keep it just in case my other sword broke. And uh, we'll put that away just to make some room here. But, like, are you freaking kidding me? Five diamonds from a nether fortress? Like, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. All right, I need to find my way back home. Like, I'm getting too uh, occupied with all of these chests. <sighs> After a hard journey, we have finally found the portal of nether. And we are going to head back home. So hopefully, we spawn right back in the spot that we left at. Hello, Skelly. Um, don't shoot me. No! You stupid idiot! I just wanted to go home, and you ruined everything. Let me in this nether portal right now. Please spawn me back at home. 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 And... Yes, I think we're good. Yes, we are. All right, we spawn right back in the same spot where we left off. And, uh, yeah, we got all of this beautiful nether stuff. We got five diamonds, which is the most beautiful thing in the world. Because now we can start looking to see what we might get on leggings. Uh, because we have eight diamonds now, total. So that's awesome. Uh, we also got five saddles, which puts us up to nine, which is absolutely crazy. We also got gold horse armor. So now we have every single type of horse armor there is. We got the iron, the gold, and the diamond. So that's always pretty cool. And then what else did we grab? We got six blaze rods, which is awesome. We didn't get that much um, nether brick, but uh, we can always go back to get that so we can do the walls in our nether room. And uh, nothing else really interesting. We did get a lot of levels though, and that was the main goal of the journey. Uh, Besides getting potions, of course. So let's see. Do I have any food here to num? Not blah, 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 blah. I guess I can eat these raw fish for now. Uh, I don't have any food right now. I could kill my cows with my fire aspect, but I don't really feel like doing that just yet. Um, so let's just put that away and uh, head over into our nether room. Let's make ourselves a crafting bench because I want to have a crafting bench in all of these rooms. That's what I've just been doing, so I don't have to like go out. How does that even happen? I like went to craft it and I went and I accidentally took off my pants. Like what's going on, dude? Don't take off your pants. I'm not wearing any pants, man. Okay, 
that's, that's, that's fine. Uh, I just keep misplacing blocks everywhere. All right. Well, the floor is going to be netherrack anyway, so that looks ugly for now, but it will look better in the future, I promise. And uh, let's see. So Blaze, 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 what am I talking about? Brewing stand looks just like this. So I think we're going to make two brewing stands just for the sake of having two brewing stands. We'll probably make more in the future, but for now, we'll just make two, and uh, we'll put them on either side. So we'll have one right here and one right there and then I think we have some iron still left on us yes we do we have enough to make exactly one cauldron so I'll just pick one cauldron just for fun uh, just for like the, the um, potion feel so we'll put them right here and then I also can fill it with water so that's pretty cool we got our cauldron going right there we got our brewing stands and we've got our nether wart so that's pretty cool I think that's all we're gonna do for today's episode we'll fix up this room in the next episode we'll put all the nether rack in the floor put some nether brick on the ceiling and on the walls and um, make our leftover uh, cauldrons and stuff like or not our leftover ones but make some more cauldrons and uh, put them down and uh, start getting on making potions so that's gonna do it for this episode so hopefully you guys did all enjoy oh wait I completely forgot guys I completely forgot we gotta go enchant stuff um, all right let's see um, what was I gonna enchant we got our, uh, our this thingy this guy right here and then I also want to make a bow because bows are pretty cool too so where do I have my mob drops it's gonna take me a while okay there it is right there so three and then we can make a bow right here and then we'll go enchant it hopefully get something good and then end off the episode so I completely forgot that I was gonna enchant stuff before we ended it off so sorry about that guys I'm not sure if we're running long on the video or if we're running short we're probably a bit over but if we're not then uh, I really don't know I don't time these episodes just because I try to go based off of the amount of time I record but uh, I can't really tell that how the mobs keep spawning right, sorry about that guys I had a little bit of a cough there so I ended up killing the two skeletons I don't know why they keep spawning in my house like I thought the lighting was fine but uh, it looks like right here is some bad lighting and I guess over here too so uh, that's kind of sad we'll have to put in a bit more torches but uh, what I first want to do is see if we get power four on this bow if we do I'll take it oh power three uh, not looking too too snazzy right there so that's the fire prot hopefully we get fortune or silk touch on this I'm just gonna take it and we got fortune three yes all right fortune three is uh, absolute love uh, I, I just can't stand uh, that or I can't stand it. No, I love it. I love it. I love it All right, let's see what we get here prop four. Um, easy easy take that and uh, now we have prop four chest plate as well uh, I will do the bow in the next episode Hopefully we have level 30 by then because I'm gonna head back into the nether off camera do a little bit more stuff in there or grab up the materials we're gonna need and uh, This fortune though, that's pretty key. That's pretty good stuff But hopefully you guys did all enjoy this episode nonetheless and uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. So hopefully you guys did all enjoy. I'm out for now Peace.